Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I want to welcome our new subscribers as well. We're at 288 subscribers guys. We're this close to the 290 mark. Yay yay. But yes, welcome to our new subscribers. Last time we checked what? We got one new subscriber. Hey, welcome to the team. Welcome to the YouTube family. I definitely appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for the support. I and thank you to all of you for all your support and sticking with us. Uh, today, you already know by the title, we are doing some Mercedes time. Yeah, let's go. She loves the Mercedes vans. Hi, Inspector. But yeah, the other one will be for this one here. Um, this is, a, I believe, a 350 Mercedes vans. 2012, I believe. Here's the interior for this particular Mercedes van. Since you guys have not seen this one yet, that's what the interior looks like. Have our key fob knob. Look at all this. Sheesh. A little screen over there. Center console. You can't forget your comfortable back seats. Uh, leather. Leather seats. Yeah. All equipped. I don't know if this is peeling or what is that? Probably they have their finger too much on that little button there that you you can tell they use it So yeah Very nice Mercedes Benz. This one comes equipped with a I believe Where's the okay, Find a hat that Latch there. Yeah, it is a 3 e350 Mercedes check Maybe they tricked us. Oh No, oh no, they did trick us this is a B6, guys. It's a six cylinder as well. Oh, well. Choosers can't be beggars. Should have checked that before buying it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's still a good engine, guys. It's pretty good, solid engine on this Mercedes. So, yeah, a bit dirty. Can't wait to detail it, clean it up, make it look like new. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, so you guys don't know this car here is a 2012 Mercedes Vance is the 350 edition with the B6 engine up in this bad boy here uh, as you guys already seen the interior is pretty nice and uh, Yeah, we was not We honestly didn't know anything about this car before getting it. So <laughs> but yeah um, At least we know it's a 2012. So that's for sure and um Wow, B6, huh? Let's see what it do, though. So apparently, this car here comes with a 3.5 engine, uh, pushing 300 horsepower or 302, but they don't push as much as that after being used. It does have slaughter um, brake rotors, and uh, got some mean calipers up in here. Got Mercedes bands. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wee, let me get you in there. There you go. Some little baby uh, Mercedes brakes and calipers. Calipers and this and whatever you call it. Slaughter brakes. This back ones are not slaughter. No, no, no. They didn't drill to this one. They're just stock regular brakes. Looks like it's just been sitting there for a while. That's why it looks like that. But I don't feel no. Yep. There's no, no damage to those. So those should be good to go it should clean right up see this side same thing and i hope this one matches the other one yep it does all right so yeah we got slaughter uh brakes up in the front regular ones up back stopping powers up front i think huh hmm yeah that's pretty cool oh that's just my friend over here he's always barking where you at Oh yeah, he's over there somewhere. He's always barking to everybody that comes by. Yep, new addition to the neighborhood. <laughs> it's cool though, it's cool. But yeah, you guys already know this guy right here, so we're gonna go ahead and get to it and start working on this one. So we're gonna try to uh, get a little bit of things fixed here and there. Uh, we are gonna change this lip to black and we're gonna go ahead and fix this crack right there and that. And then just Switch the lip to being black. That way it'll stand out a little more. Yeah. This one also has a B6. You guys are familiar with this one. We've been doing a lot of work to this particular car. 
as you guys can see we changed the filters we did all this other stuff already we changed a pulley that was making a lot of noise yes sir and today we are working on the bumper the back bumper is getting swapped out kind of crack right here and we got hit down here yeah a couple scars and bruises nothing too bad but it did hit a little swipe there side swipe as you guys can see this side nothing's wrong with it i could have probably saved that bumper now that i think about it sheesh we speed up things too fast sometimes we don't wait for them to get delivered so we can see what we can save and we can't save but we definitely gonna save this fender that's for sure oh yeah gotta love them mercedes parts yo yo First time taking a back bumper on a Mercedes Benz. This was no joke. First of all, had some nasty clips in here, which they were a pain to get off. The screw was way back here, as you guys can see. All right, so we got the screw, we got the pins, and then it had two screws down there. The exhaust comes with the bumper. So that was kind of easy because it's just a bolt that goes there. Same scenario for the other side. And then here is where we found the challenge. Apparently the bumper has some clips under it. Right there, those little clips. The clip into this. For security. Security! Golly man, this were a pain to get off as you guys can see. I prime it. Once I got the first one, broom, all of them came out just like that. That was crazy. That was so crazy. Yeah, same scenario for this side. You guys can see it went out you guys can see where we hit right there look at that i can see it i don't know if you guys can see it with all this glare there it is yes sir we gotta fix all that make our light a little better let's get a little touch up over there <laughs> but yeah well well i still i mean i don't see that much damage on the bumper other than this right here in the bracket this bracket broke that's why the bumper was kind of out and about so i kind of want to mock the new one but i'm kind of scared it's going to clip on this ah and then that's a whole another nightmare oh well we got to do what we got to do but yes guys this is the upside down of the bumper i would have thought mercedes would have done a better job you know since they're high class and stuff but no this is just a tip exhaust that's crazy literally it's just a tip to an exhaust that is wild to me. I mean, come on, y'all. They tricked us. They just have a pipe. Literally, a pipe. My car has pipes. 
and the pipes have tips. But these tips are welded to the muffler. Like, come on. I don't know if they're cheap down on there or that's how they are. But that amazes me. That's just like my Chevy truck, you know, straight pipe. And all I got to do is put tips on it. Huh. Luxury time, I guess. That's crazy. Come on, Mercedes. Step up your game. All right, guys, we were mucking it up. We stopped, though, because it fits so good. It was just clicking in. So what I did is I just mocked it on the side that I needed, and it started clicking inside, so I stopped. I didn't want to click it back in, but we're going to have just a good, clean line again. Yes, this is going to go more in. It's going to start clicking. You know what? Let's, be, let's find out for sure. I don't want to be like, oh, no, it doesn't click. Oh, yeah, it did. Here we go. We got our line back, everything is squared out. Yes, nice and uniform, all the way to the front. This should be like right there, there you go. But yeah, it's gonna fit just fine. We're gonna have our nice little crispy line there. Hmm, all we had to do was push it out a little bit and uh, it squared out. We probably need a little bit more out though. I do see here an opening. So I might have to push it a little bit more out and that should be enough for it. And yes, we still gotta push that. All right, let's get it done. All right, guys, we said whatever, and we went ahead and uh, test fitted the whole thing. We just clipped it all up in there. Yes, it's gonna be a nightmare to take back off, but I wanted to make sure it was good. However, I did see a little bit of peeling here. I'm not sure if that's the primer coming off already, or they just did a sad part sanding it right there on this edges some of them just scuff it and then they throw the bumper uh the primer on so i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the razor blade see how much comes off and go from there but if this ever peels off it wasn't me okay it was them <laughs> let's see here so yeah this side fit up just nicely now we went ahead and got everything situated yes sir look at that oh nice fitment all around just what we were looking for yeah there you go no need to fix anything no more everything's fitting just fine we just got to add the bottom part of course we're gonna do that after we paint it but it almost blends in that's crazy huh yes sir all right well we're ready to start preparing for paint and then ah man we still got to take this one off i can only imagine the nightmare on this one yes sir we don't even know what awaits us up in here i just look in there and there's a lot of sensors uh wires clips all kinds of clips um plastics bent stuff broken glass slash plastic i guess bent fenders yep we have a lot of work to do today Jeez. Alrighty then, well, let's get to it. It's not gonna get done by itself, is it?
guys, it is done. Ready to go. Quick little bumper to match up the paint on the Mercedes. There you go. It is done. Let's go check out this Mercedes lip now. Oh, it got brighter. Yeah, look at that. Oh, went ahead and fixed the lip. Yeah, it's clean. Oh, pretty much done with this one. All we gotta do is transfer all that to the new bumper and we should be golden. Cause right now, ain't got no butt. Yeah, this car don't got no butt. Look at this, oh, poor butt. The buttocks has gone. Ooh, yeah, I should have put uh, some clear coat on this, making shiny, just like the wing. That would have been cool, huh? Might do that later on. Later on, later on. Alrighty guys, so we went ahead and put it together. Yes sir, look at that. We got the exhaust up in there. We got our plastic piece all up in there and buckled up. Um, we had to switch those um, to this bumper. Same goes for this side, because it didn't have them. And yeah, look at that. There's our exhaust, our whole brackets. I don't know what these were for. They came with this bumper, but I'm gonna leave them there just for extra support i guess but yeah we're about to put it up in there and this time you better click up on those under those things because it's in there for good at this point yes sir well we're ready to get it in let's go Right, guys we got it in there once again this time we did clip all this ones here they were clipping really good too look at that Sheesh. here we go i'm gonna have to touch it up a little bit i did put a little bit there i don't want it to show so i'm gonna do a little bit of touch up there and i think this corner too maybe just a little bit it'll do but yes guys oh well there you go it is done it is matched up ready to go i think this paint is a little lighter than the rest of the car i'm thinking the car paint is dirty that's why so probably after a buff it will look nice and uniform we already know that what do you think inspector are you laying eggs what are you doing <laughs> she's been lazy all day yes sir but yeah there we go guys we got this back bumper on it should be ready to go uh let's make sure it closes and uh yeah there we go we're good let's make sure it latches and releases because you know nobody wants to struggle without having to release there you go oh yeah perfecto on to the next one which is that bad boy there but yes guys there you go bumper is on Ready to go, and I believe I already showed you guys the front lip over here that we did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. They turn out great. Oh, yeah. Just a little, li the little things go a long way. That's what it is. Yes, guys, we went ahead and got it done, situated. All I got to do is put all the hardware back on and uh, send it out. Alrighty guys, we're back inside and that is gonna be it for this video. I do appreciate every single one of you watching Thank you very much for all the support um, This is gonna be it. We're gonna take it one Mercedes at a time on our next one We should be able to knock the next one out. Thank you very much all for watching and hey It turned out real good everything matched up after the buff. So hopefully He'll come back. He'll come back. Uh, it's a regular customer of mine, so he'll be coming back whenever he needs a little bit more touch-ups here and there. So you guys be seeing that Mercedes more often. Let me know. Should we tell him we should put the brake lights clean 
with uh, new clear on them instead of looking all foggy and stuff or what? Let me know guys. I like gloss better than matte. I, I just think it looks better on headlights or trunk lights. I don't know why, but that's the way I think he should go. Let me know what you guys think, but thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. <laughs>